Hey viewers at home. Uh, this is Africa Europe Breeze Television. As you know, we are online television and uh, we are in the city of Ibadan. As you can see, the capital of Oyo State. Uh, presently, we are at Akinyele local government. Uh, to be precise, that is uh, Monia area. We want to move around in order to interview people and seek people's opinion concerning the high price of commodities in uh, Nigeria. How inflation has affected the prices of uh, commodities in the country. And how people have been able to cope. What is their opinion? What can they say to it? Or what is their own suggestion? The way out. So sit back and enjoy this episode as we move around in order to seek people's okay, opinion. Concerning the Thank price you. of the commodity in Nigeria, I think government really needs to help us because a lot of things we are buying has now been cost beyond our imagination, beyond our expectation. Even the attachments we are buying before, it's cost now. Like 200, 300, everything is just keep going up, which we don't really understand what is happening. Government should please help us concerning everything we are using. Even the food we are eating, it costs every day. Government should please help us. Thank you. Okay. Concerning the price commodity, the government should help us. Everything we are buying is now cost. The gary we are buying at 120, 150 before is now 450. Even the attachments we are using for us at two years ago, let's say last year, so the attachments like this one, this is, uh, this one is 600 before, now is 800, which is too much. People really need to do something that will be easy for themselves, but now everything is going up. Like the relaxer, we sell it 300, 250 before, now it's 500. The cost is too much for us. Government should please help us. We really need their help because this stress is much for us. Uh, 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 uh. So based on, okay, are you going to? High price of the commodity in Nigeria. According to me, it's not something that is very okay. The thing is just affecting the poor. It's affecting the masses so much. Because it's only the government, those people that are influential, those people that are very rich, that is getting this thing. It's affecting the, the, the poor. Generally, like an example, the petrol just increased. Uh, some are selling it 190, some are selling 200 naira. The people, like yesterday now, um, the way I'm going now, the Okara man that wants to take me is telling me that the Okara is now 150 naira to Ajibade. I say to Ajibade, I say what happened? He said the high price of the petrol is, is, is increased. Uh, I say, oh, where is Nigeria is taking us to now? I don't even understand. This thing is so much. I don't like it, and it's affecting us. To be sincere, it's affecting the poor. Me, I can afford to pay that 150 yesterday. Those are people that can't afford to pay it, because that means they are going to trek home, and it's something that is not good at all. I would be glad if the government can do something about it. And since I've been born to this earth, I've always been seeing things going up that has never been coming down. Like when I was in maybe junior secondary school, where they are selling Gary 20 Naira, 20 Naira. But now, even 10 Naira then, but now, the thing is been increasing and it has not been going down. So it is, it is uncalled for. Yeah, the high price of commodity in Nigeria, the, the every day. If you look at the rate at which we buy goods in Nigeria, it is, it is increasing, not decreasing. For instance, look at the, the amount, of, uh, the rate at which you buy rice before. Before, I think it was around maybe 500. Now look at it, more than that. So it, it's weakening the country. It's weakening the economy. Look at the people in Nigeria. We have more, we have high rate of poverty in Nigeria. And also, there's, there's uh, inflation in Nigeria. Inflation with poverty. That leads to unemployment. So the high rate of, uh, uh, of commodities in Nigeria has, uh, has a lead to a lot of things. It's getting worse. So we have to, we have to work towards how to correct that in Nigeria. Uh, the advice for the government is that they should just try and uh, bring in uh, some, some ways by which we can reduce the price of this commodity. The price is getting, is increasing every, every time, every day. It's increasing again and again and again. So the government should just try at least, let's bring down the price of the commodity. Even if 
dollar is at high rates. Maybe dollar is more than Naira. But Nigerian government should please try and let's reduce the price. Okay, we're saying dollar is at high rates. Look at your beans. Do we import beans? No. The why, why is the price of beans increasing? That's inflation. That's inflation. The government should please at least try and help us to reduce the price of those commodities. We should try at least that we help to, 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 to cave poverty, to help to curb poverty. But when the price of this commodity is increasing, it, it leads to inflation. And when we have inflation, definitely there will be unemployment. So when there's unemployment, no doubt, poverty. So at least if we should try to reduce the price of these commodities in Nigeria, it will help us in a lot of ways. It will help us. Nigerian government, just please at least try to reduce this price. The price of commodity, if it's leading to dangerous things, it's leading to... Look at the price of these commodities. Okay, the price of rice has increased from maybe, uh, let's say, 500 to, uh, I don't know, maybe 1,000 there now. Let's use beans, for example. Before it was not 1,000, but right now I think it is 1,000 there are beans. This can lead to a lot of uh, criminals. It can lead to a lot of criminal activities. Yes, when the price of commodities is increasing and there is no job and there is unemployment, it leads to a lot of criminal activities. That's why we have more, we have more thugs, we have more bandits in Nigeria. If we reduce the price of this, these commodities, and we have, these commodities are at low rates, not high rates, bandits and criminals will reduce in Nigeria. So the Nigerian government should just try at least help us to reduce the price of these commodities so as to ensure that we can call <laughs>